Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I wanna talk about how blockchain could disrupt the real estate industry. So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And as always, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. All right, so let's talk about how blockchain could disrupt the real estate industry. As I see it, buying and selling real estate is trending more and more towards a completely online process, or at least the option of being a completely online process. And in addition to being a blockchain developer and owning cryptocurrency, I also invest in real estate. So I've thought about this quite a bit, and I've got some ideas about how this could play out. So like I said, buying and selling real estate is trending more and more towards a completely online process, okay? So people have already been looking for homes online for quite some time now with websites like Zillow, right? You can essentially window shop for real estate with something like this. Now, a lot of people are actually, you know, using realtors to find them, but right now you can cut the realtors out. You know, people can list their homes on Zillow and, you know, people can go find them and you can do a for sale by owner transaction like that, right? Or now there's platforms that allow you to list your home online and they take a fee whenever it's purchased, right? Like Redfin is an example. So there are already people in the space that are trying to, you know, bring this process fully online. And I see the trend moving harder and harder in that direction when I see news like this, where, you know, real estate site Redfin has been testing a feature for buyers to bid for their homes online. And also their partnership with uh, Remax that was, you know, announced recently. In order to take this process fully online, you need to be able to list a home, find a home, and also sell the home, like facilitate the transaction. And that third piece is where blockchain could really ease a lot of friction to making this process process work online, okay? So let's talk about that. There's a few different ways that blockchain can facilitate the home buying process online. Okay, the first one is actually transferring ownership of the house. And the second one is, you know, the actual payment for the house itself. So let's talk about the first piece. Right. If you've ever purchased real estate before, you know you have to do a closing, right? There's this event that essentially you go to, you sign a bunch of papers, you usually meet with like, uh, you know, your agents there. You might have a title attorney or something like that, somewhere where you go to a closing. It's a very involved process. It's it's kind of boring. Uh, it's kind of freaks people out. You know, it's thick books of contracts, and you can automate away a lot of this with blockchain, right? So when you go sign the documents, right, you have to give an ID, you have to sign a bunch of stuff. And there are public records, right, that have to be dealt with. And these, you know, are typically dealt with by an attorney um, and they, you know, sign some stuff and there's like a notary. Okay, this is a lot of stuff that has to happen. And all this could be represented digitally and automated away, right? So a couple of things need to be digitized, okay? The first one is the actual, you know, deed to the house or the title or just the ownership document that says this person owns this home. And this could be represented on the blockchain. And the other part is, you know, who owns it and how can they, you know, authorize a transfer of this ownership from one person to another, right? So both, you know, parties, the buyer and the seller need to be modeled on the blockchain, which we already have. And we need to be able to way to just transfer the ownership. And we get authorized this process with a digital signature that would be cryptographically secured by the blockchain. So the other part that blockchain could really solve is paying for the home. All right. Now we already have cryptocurrency, so that's an obvious way. If you wanted to buy a home, you know, outright, you could just pay for it completely with cryptocurrency, you know, using a smart contract, right? You could have a smart contract that facilitates the purchase of a home and basically whenever you put enough money in it then you know the ownership gets transferred to you once we've been able to digitally you know represent the ownership of the house right okay so part of this though is that most people get loans whenever they buy houses most people don't buy them in cash you could have a smart contract that models the terms of the loan right it could also ensure that there's collateral for the loan it can ensure that there's actually funds to back the loan up and things like that it could get really complex and we could solve a lot of those types of problems digitally with smart contracts as well on the blockchain and basically, you know, you can streamline this entire process where you apply for the loan online. We could model, you know, your credit history on the blockchain, right? You know, you could compete with the big credit reporting agencies like, you know, TransUnion, uh, Equifax, and Experian, right? Some of that information could just be public or at least publicly accessible to see that this person, you know, is ready for a loan application. And we could automate some of that away too. There's all kinds of possibilities that can make this a lot easier. So I can see this trend of, you know, real estate moving more and more towards an online process being something that really really accelerates mass adoption of blockchain technology, right? Let me tell you why. Because consumers are begging to buy more and more things online, all right? Or at least the option to buy them online. We can see that, you know, with bigger purchases nowadays, like 
if you look at a website like uh, Carvana, right? So that's Carvana's business model. They bring a car to you. You just look for them online. They bring it to you. You get to test drive it. So why are they asking for this kind of stuff? Well, Carvana solves a lot of problems that people don't like about the car purchasing process, right? You don't have to deal with a car salesman. You don't have to go anywhere. And it's just easier, right? It just saves you time. And there's going to be incentives for people to purchase their home this way too, right? From a buyer side, in real estate, you might not want to deal with a pushy realtor who upsells you on a property that's out of your price range, right? You might just not want to deal with a realtor at all for lots of reasons. Um, there might be incentive for you to buy on a platform that has a fee that's a little lower uh, than what the realtor cost is, and that's going to reduce the price of your home. Um, you know, you don't have to maybe necessarily go to a showing with a realtor just like breathing down your neck and watching over your shoulder as you're walking through a house. Right, you might be able to just like go at an at a certain time where the locks automatically open on the house, and you get to go in and look at it at your own speed and just like examine the house yourself, right? And you also might not want to go to that laborious closing that I talked about earlier that really freaks a lot of people out. They have to go and feel like they're signing their life away and go to this huge event, book time in their schedule. That can all happen online. You can do it on your own time. You can do it at night. You don't have to do it during business hours. You could just you know sign something digitally and you know just complete the transaction and it just happens in the background. You don't have to be somewhere. And there's lots of incentive from the seller side too. It could be a lot easier just to list your home with one of these platforms, right? You might be able to keep uh, more of your home sale amount if the percentage is smaller than what you know these realtors charge. A lot of times you cost like 6% of your home sale price to sell a home, right? You might be able to reduce that amount by using a platform like this. And also you don't have to go to one of these crazy closings that other people do whenever they sell property. You know, I think that's where this trend is headed. Uh, you know, companies like Zillow and Redfin and others like I talked about are moving more and more that direction. I could see them, you know, using similar tactics to other companies like Uber and Lyft, right? Where they basically start their company, they crowdsource all of their, uh, you know, employees essentially, and then eventually they try to automate their jobs away with, you know, self-driving vehicles if we ever get there, right? So I could see a similar kind of thing happening with real estate where, you know, we allow you to search for homes online, sell your home online, and maybe there's still realtors in the process and, you know, uh, people who do the closings and all that kind of stuff and financing, but maybe we eventually automate all of that away to where it all happens with the blockchain. And also, I think this is a really good example of what mass adoption will look like in blockchain, right? There's a lot of people that think that mass adoption is going to look like these, you know, fully decentralized applications where everything is like trustless and secure. We don't have web servers anymore. And it's just this crazy blockchain, you know, ecosystem, right? And I think that actually can happen but I think that will probably be a smaller niche use case where you know consumers demand that kind of thing. I think for mass adoption to happen though, consumers won't want necessarily all of those things to be completely decentralized, only the parts we actually care about. And I think you know, this is a good example of how that would work for real estate, right? You know, listing your home and selling your home, uh, you know, basically listing it and finding a buyer could work really well with our current models, but actually transferring, you know, the ownership of the house and paying for it might be a part that the blockchain is really good at solving. And that can get incorporated into one of these major players like Zillow or Redfin or something like that. And that would really accelerate blockchain mass adoption. And that's what I think mass adoption could look like, or at least one example of it. And if a company like Zillow incorporated this technology into their platform, I mean, you would see blockchain use skyrocket, right? And probably what's more likely to happen is a smaller company goes and solves this problem and gets it working. And then one of these bigger companies acquires them and just, you know, takes their solution and plugs it into their system. And then we see, you know, massive adoption of blockchain by, you know, lots of consumers. So that's how I think blockchain could disrupt the real estate industry. Hope y'all like this video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And as always, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dapuniversity.com forward slash free download. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.